We bring in now TVC News crime correspondent Ivy Kano to give us updates on the Equa Model School kidnap. Uh, hello, uh, Ivy. Tell us more. When exactly did this uh, incident occur? Is it related uh, to the earlier one of Wednesday? Uh, the information uh, that we gathered when we got here is that it happened about uh, 10, 15, 10, between 10 to 15 minutes after 6 a.m. this morning. Uh, the kidnappers broke uh, the fence of the school and sculled and fell in through there, kidnapping six boys. Uh, we were told that there were actually 10 children that they, they tried to kidnap, but by the time they got to the riverside where they had their boats waiting, uh, they couldn't, they, they had to ask four students to come down and, you know, help them push the boat into the water. So that was how they left four students, taking with them six other children. And right now in the school, you, you have policemen uh, all over the place as usual. And uh, we, we gathered that the police boss, CPO Washington, was here earlier today, but he had left before we got to the school. And I can imagine the parents of these missing children will be anxious about the situation. How is the school managing this situation right now? Some of the parents we spoke with, it, it, they, they're actually very angry. If you recall, about less than six months ago, this same incident happened in this school where some students were taken away. And according to the parents, they were, the school promised that they were going to look into uh, the security of, of the students and the school. But sadly, this again happened. So the parents are not finding it funny at all. Uh, they are so angry that they've insisted that they are not leaving the compound except the, their children are released to them. So uh, there, there was an agreement. They had a meeting between them and the school authority. You know, I, I think that they'll reach an agreement uh, on what to do and some of the parents next week is it's already a holiday so they are like can we just can you just release our children to us we'll bring them back after uh, the break so mm -hmm. that, that's what they are meeting over as we speak all right and um for, for us the school now you've already confirmed that this is the same school uh, where an earlier incident happened last year and then we already have information that uh, the same kidnappers came into the school to kidnap yesterday but couldn't uh, you know get through and then returned early this morning uh, i thought so the information we had was that security had been beefed up so what was lacking to have um, uh, made them to succeed this time around i can't actually confirm if it was an attempt on wednesday uh, we've not i've not i've not gathered that information if there was an attempt on Wednesday, but this attempt that happened uh, this, this Thursday morning, they had, I had, I had, we were told they had security men on that, but they were all stationed, uh, somehow, I, I don't want to, there was a distraction, but they were all stationed at the gate while the kidnap was taking place at the back of, the, so that was actually what happened. So what is the police saying about investigations into this matter? What are you hearing? I am making an effort to get to the Commission of Police uh, to hear what they have to say about this. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's uh, leave it at that. Uh, Ivy Kanu for the live uh, updates from Ekbe. Thanks a lot.